This video is going to be on replacing a hose bib. This is a hose bib. And that's the hose. This is the valve that turns your water hose on. Um, hose bibs come in different styles. The one that I'm going to be putting on is a standard hose bib. The hose clamps on over there. This is a quarter turn. It turns a quarter turn instead of the older style where you can spin it about a full turn, maybe a turn and a half. Um, they come in different styles now. You can see this is a female end, obviously, because it uh, is a receptacle. The threads are on the inside. It comes in a half-inch thread, which is about a little less than two fingers wide. And it comes in a three-quarter size fitting. This is the female fitting. There's a male fitting that you can buy. It extends about maybe a half-inch over here and the threads are on the outside. Uh, so you can see over here that uh, there's some plumbing tape over there. There's the female fitting, and if this was the male fitting, you would see the threads, and this would be, this would be the fitting that you'd have, and the male threads would be screwing into here. Um, if yours is soldered on, you can see this is a soldered pipe with a, uh, an attachment so that I can screw this thing on and off. If your hose bib is soldered on and this video is not going to help you too much unless you know how to do some soldering then you're just going to replace uh, the bib with uh, with a soldered type fitting. So the first thing you want to do is turn off your water. You can see the valve down over here. I've turned off the water. Then you're going to remove the hose. Then what you want to do is put a wrench on here so that you don't bend this type of uh, copper pipe which is not really sturdy. And then you're going to put a wrench on here, and you're going to turn the two. This will turn counterclockwise to the left, and you'll hold this stationary so that you don't bend it. And that's what I'm going to do now. You can see that I've removed most of the uh, plumbing tape. You can buy that at most stores. I don't really have much left. I barely have any left, so this is not good, but I shouldn't have a real problem. I'm just going to try to put this one piece on that I've got. Hopefully it doesn't leak. And you want to wind that around usually a couple times. And now I'm going to take the new valve and put it on here. Go slow, make sure you don't, uh, yeah, you can see I was going to put on the wrong side. Go slow, make sure that you do not strip the threads. First put it on with your fingers, obviously, hand tight. And now I'm going to put the wrench on here for stability. This has flat edges, so that's why I'm using a crescent wrench. Otherwise, you can use a channel locks or a plumbing wrench. It's not really going to tighten down much more. So I'm going to get the pipe wrench now. And some people might turn this a couple turns to get it really torqued down. I don't think that's going to handle much more than this one turn. I might be able to force it, but I don't know if I want to. 
No, I don't want to. Okay. So we're just going to, well, that's not really on that tight. Hold on, i got to move the camera. I needed to move the camera, but I tightened this down another turn, so I've got it down really tight, two torques um, on here. The most important thing is you want to make sure it doesn't leak from here when you turn on your water and that it doesn't leak from here. So let me turn on the water now on the main valve down here. And hopefully I don't get myself wet. Get the tools out of the way. water on. Water is on at the main valve. I don't hear anything uh, leaking out over here. I don't see anything leaking out. So now it's time to do a little test. Let's see if this repaired it. If you like my videos, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. And feel free to link this to any other uh, channel if you want to on the web. And and here we go, testing time. It works. No water leaks. The hose is attached. And that's how you replace your uh, hose bib.